Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy 3. And, uh, and yeah, I think we are uh, just getting ready to leave this town. There's Terra. Ah, oh, she doesn't look too happy about that. <laughs> wow, that is like the quickest crafting ever. Well, I think before we move forward, we will uh, grab some jobs here. It kind of sucks to get rid of the freelancer because it's like job level 18, but yeah, it's freelancer, right? Like, yeah. So I think we'll make Mist the warrior. I think Pleb can be the monk. And and then Dro, I think we're gonna make Dro the white mage. Yeah, I imagine like along the way, the there's probably certain fights that are gonna call for different things. But so I think I'd like to kind of semi level everything at some point. The only, the only rough point is, um, is that with these jobs, they're per character. So if I were to have, say, like a level 20 white mage on Dro, and then I needed, say, two white mages for something, uh, that second white mage would be, like, level zero. <laughs> Cause it's per per character. Like for you to keep the levels, it has to be leveled on that on that group member. So yeah. So I've heard it's unfortunate. We all have no parents! We're part of the no parent cool club! Let's name our ship Orphanage. I think we will make uh, Terra a uh, thief. Um, it's actually kind of the worst job you could throw on someone. But it is handy if you come across, like, you know, locked doors and shit like that. So I do like at least having it leveled a bit.
Aww. I liked Sid, though. But, you know, he's got to, um... Got to chill with his wife. Let's see if we have any mail. Nope. No new mail, anyway. Another dancer. They must really like showing off their moves to me. This is the second dancer. We're still technically at the beginning of the game. Like, we've only really fought, I guess, two bosses? Because the turtle would probably count it as a boss. The turtle and Dijin. Dijin. Aw, his wife looks ill. Bottle of elixir. I don't know if I've grabbed elixir yet or looted it. That could be what, um, remember when we walked in to this area, there was loot to the right, like a treasure chest? I just gotta find a way to get to it. But that's probably the elixir. Unless I buy it. I could check the inn. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll check the inn, see if you can purchase it. If I can't purchase it, then for sure it's that fucking treasure chest. rest. We're like full, fully healed. That's why the fountain wasn't restoring our uh, HP. 
Okay, so it doesn't look like we can get it from, um, from the inn. So, yeah, definitely it's that treasure chest. Huh, another girl that looks sick on the bed. Jeez. This town must be fucking cursed. Huh. Okay, so I guess we're going to the mountains now. <laughs> Fuck. I have to say, that is pretty fucking sneaky for loot. Like, that wall, I just basically accidentally discovered you could walk through it. Like, there, you can't see an, an exit out of that wall. Like, fuck, that's pretty fucking sneaky, man. I'm gonna have to remember that along the gameplay. Uh, any wall that's, you know, black or, um, yeah. I got a feeling there's a lot of those. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, we found a way. This should take us to the treasure chest and just, uh, okay, I guess they don't like explorers. <laughs> Can't get past the trees. But yeah, this should realistically take us to the, uh... To the treasure chest. Treasure, treasure. I'd, uh, I'd say, you know, treasure gonna be my own, but it's not. It's gonna be the old lady's. Cause she needs it to get wet. Yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be an elixir. Okay, so uh, I think we're gonna call it right here. Um, seems like a good place to end. And uh, when we continue this series, we will go to um, Sid's wife and give her the elixir and see what goes on there. So uh, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.